Hello all. Welcome to AWS Tech Talk. I'll be taking us all on a short journey through AWS Secrets Manager, which is one of the services that drives AWS cryptography's vision of making AWS the most secure platform, computing platform in the world. What is Secrets Manager? So instead of storing secrets in plain text or in code and config files, customers can use Secrets Manager to centralize and simplify the management of their secrets. And we follow these tenets in their priority order. Customers trust us with their secrets that could be used to compromise highly confidential customer data. So we believe customer trust is hard to earn, but easy to lose. And so we prioritize trust and security over anything else. Additionally, our service is designed to operate at scale and limit blast radius of failures. Customers can rely on us as one of their foundational services. And every action we take or a customer takes in Secrets Manager is visible to customers through their audit trails. At a high level, the service provides these capabilities. And in the following slides, I'll walk through these capabilities in more detail. So security. Secrets Manager provides a highly secure service for our customers, and we use envelope encryption using the strongest encryption algorithms to protect customer secrets. Secrets Manager also supports dynamic references in cloud formation, so customers can reference secrets without ever having to handle secrets in plain text. We also support generation of random passwords, which will ensure customers do not view or handle plain text secrets. As I mentioned earlier, secrets are encrypted by default. AWS Key Management Service provides the primary encryption key, which is owned and managed by customers. This key then is used to encrypt the data key, which in turn is used to encrypt the secrets. Now during retrieval, Secrets Manager uses the KMX key to decrypt the data key, which then is consequently used to decrypt the secret value. Mm -hmm. And this secret value is then transmitted securely over TLS. AWS stands to our promise of not having access to customer secrets and does not write or cache any decrypted secrets. Another key aspect is access control. The secret sprawl comes up in different kinds of problems. The key ones are lack of visibility and lack of control. Customers use IAM policies to secure access to their secrets. For example, specific IAM roles can have read access, but only admin roles can have create or delete access. We also support resource based policies. And in this case, the resource is the secret. The advantage here is that the resource based policy enables customers to grant access to principals from different accounts. Secrets Manager allows customers to also add tags to a group of secrets and then apply the above mentioned policies to secure access to these group of secrets. Uh, we also integrate with CloudTrail, a service that provides a record of actions taken by a user or a role or a AWS service in Secrets Manager. Finally, our integration with AWS Config through Config Rules provides the easier tracking of secret changes in Secrets Manager. You can also configure AWS Secrets Manager automatically rotate the secret for a secured service or database. Secrets Manager natively knows how to rotate secrets for supported Amazon RDS databases. However, uh, Secrets Manager can also be used to enable you to rotate secrets for other databases or third-party services by customizing the Lambda functions that implement the rotation. Now, this diagram shows how an application calls Secrets Manager uh, to, to get the secret value and retrieve the username password and then access the RDS resource. So until validation, uh, when the rotation is triggered, the first call is made to get back the UA and PA. Right? When, when rotation is triggered, the new database credentials UB and PB are created. But until confirmation, we still continue to respond with UA and PA. As soon as validation is completed, the existing uh, UA and PA become AWS previous, and the new credentials UB and PB become the credentials that are returned on a get value call or get secret value call. We launched uh, Replicate Secrets, and I'll walk you through an example of how this works in a customer DR scenario. As you can see, the primary region is US East 1, and the replica region is US West 2. 
replication is turned on the DB as well as in AWS Egress Manager. In a normal scenario on the left, the Lambda function in this case, which is the application, retrieves the secrets from Secrets Manager and connects to the RDS DB to retrieve data. In a DR scenario, which is on the right, the DB fails over to US West 2. The secret uh, which accesses the database is already replicated in US West 2. So as part of your failover script, the database CNAME record would be updated to point to the database in the replica region. With this, the application in US West 2 can now use the replicated secrets to access the database in the replica region. We, with this provider, the CSI provider which we launched, yeah, you can retrieve secrets managed in Secrets Manager through your application workloads running on Kubernetes seamlessly. The same IAM and resource policies can be used to limit and restrict access to specific K8 pods within the cluster. Additionally, using a new component called the Rotation Reconciler, the provider will always retrieve the latest secrets from Secrets Manager to deliver to the pods in the cluster. ASM or AWS Secrets Manager maintains appropriate compliance and certification, so customers can use Secrets Manager in every AWS region. Customers can use manage rules in AWS config to define their organizational compliance rules on secrets management best practices. This allows customers to quickly identify secrets that do not conform to their security rules. They can even use SNS to receive notifications about configuration changes. Using AWS config aggregator from a single location, the same conformity rules can be applied to secrets across all accounts and regions in the entire organizations. From a scale perspective, Secrets Manager supports 40,000 secrets per region uh, per account and supports 5,000 TPS to retrieve operations. As with any managed service uh, in AWS, we stand behind our SLAs of three nines and provide 24 seven engineering on call support. Where are we going next? So the next investments rightly start with security, right? They move on to scalability and availability to meet our customer expectations. Customers use Secrets Manager for secrets for native AWS resources, but also for third parties, and will make it seamless for customers to eliminate plain text secrets for authentication. Finally, we invest in making it easy for customers to manage a large number of secrets in Secrets Manager. I hope this information was useful and thank you for listening.